Hi, I'm Dory, and today I am doing the one color challenge. <laughs> When I set out to do this challenge, I knew that I kind of wanted to do something that looked semi-realistic and I also wanted to really, really challenge myself by picking something that had a lot of uh, different values, a lot of uh, contrast between light, dark, that kind of thing. So um, naturally, I decided to paint a stripy kitty cat. <laughs> Tabby cats have so many different uh, levels of color in their fur and their texture is so wonderful and I thought that if I was able to capture the texture of a cat and the, t uh, the, the striping, the actual pattern of the cat's fur, I thought that I would have definitely been successful in this challenge. So. I set out uh, to paint a stripy cat and the one that I decided to paint is my mom's kitty cat Sparkles. <laughs> now my mom calls her Sparkles but I have a different name for her. I call her Spartacus because Sparkles is... she is a strong independent woman and a warrior cat. She does not need anyone to pet her or love her. She is just as powerful and wonderful and strong and she is a fighter and a killer and everything else. And I love her. She's just such a wonderful kitty cat. And when she wants to be, she is a huge cuddle bug. She's the sweetest little cat, but she is definitely not a Sparkles. <laughs> Uh, I I started calling her Spartacus and I think everyone else started too as well. So pretty much everyone, including my mom, sometimes slips up and calls her Spartacus. Uh, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I love her. When my mom first got her, I was actually really shocked that she did not name her McGonagall. Um, because she is a brown t uh, striped tabby cat and that is what McGonagall is in the Harry Potter books and McGonagall is my mom's favorite Harry Potter character like she is absolutely in love with McGonagall I did a portrait of McGonagall uh, two years ago I think as a Christmas present for her um, she for this this year for Christmas she specifically requested a drawing of her with McGonagall <laughs> She loves McGonagall and um, admires her very much. She's even gone, uh, done, like she answers the door on Halloween to give out candy for trick-or-treaters. She likes to be in a costume too. So the last several years, she's dressed up as McGonagall. So she even has made her own costume. <laughs> and she looks a lot like her when she does it too, I'll just say. she's She does a very good McGonagall cosplay. <laughs> So when my mom got a, t a brown stripy tabby cat and she did not name her McGonagall, I was like, what? <laughs> what? And it's not like magical names are out of bounds for her because her previous cat was an orange tabby named Gandalf. So she definitely goes for the magical names typically. So hmm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but it made me kind of think about cat names and how funny they can be. I was thinking, um, a friend of mine recently adopted two black kitty cats, and he's named them Kill and Mame, which <laughs> is honestly the best combo ever. It makes me laugh every time I see it. And he posts, he's posting a lot about his new cats, so it's, it's giving me a good giggle for sure. Um, but I've had... Uh, I've had a lot of cats in my life. Um, my very first cat when I was really, really, really little was named Puggins. Uh, <laughs> so not your typical mittens or whiskers or smoky or anything like that. No, my cat was Puggins. And then my next cat was actually one that looked very similar to Spartacus. It was a brown tabby cat and her name was Boofy. <laughs> because I don't know why. Um, and then my next cat after that was the last cat I've ever owned, and that was, he was a white cat named Chode. <laughs> and of course, I was in my late teens, early 20s when I first got him, and I thought that that was a hilarious name, <laughs> because South Park was everywhere, and they were calling each other Chode left and right, and I was like, oh, this is the most fabulous name I could possibly pick is Chode for my cat and it turned out that he was this amazing like 
just wonderful cat. I had him for 17 years. I had him for so long. And he was just the best cat. He had so much dignity and he was so regal and just had this royal kind of presence to him. And you wanted to respect him, but it was so hard when his name was Chode. <laughs> so I guess maybe it wasn't the best choice of name for him, but yeah. <laughs> I think this kitty cat, I think Spartacus suits her. I'm not sure why mom went with Sparkles, but Spartacus. Yes, <laughs> she is She is definitely a warrior cat and she is mighty and a great hunter and I just love her so much. I love when she's stalking around and prowling and hunting and her little fat tummy is swaying back and forth as she creeps. It's so funny. <laughs> I love this cat. I decided to paint her in red because this is the one color challenge. I had to pick a color, so I chose not just any red, but I chose crimson crimson red uh, because I felt like I could uh, effectively uh, darken it and wash and lighten it without it looking too pink um, and I definitely wanted a red because this is my dark humor <laughs> my dark sense of humor peeping through but yeah um, I wanted her to be red so that it would look as though she had been bathed in the blood of her enemies <laughs> I wanted her to look like the warrior cat that she is. So, um, yeah, I think I was able to really uh, work with the color crimson. I love the way it looks on her. I think it makes her, uh, her striping and her patterns, I think it all looks really, really just beautiful. Um, the only, I was able, I used water to uh, lighten it. So, because it is watercolor, so I did lighten it with water. With water, so it is pure crimson. Uh, and I used the color straight in a few places, and then I added a teeny bit of black to it to make it a darker shade of crimson. It is still crimson. So, um, it, this is, I think, a successful painting. I, I'm pretty proud of how this came out. I think I was able to really show all the different levels of uh, different colors and I was able to show the patterning on the cat, I was able to show the texture, the fluffiness of the fur, and the shine in her eyes, and I'm really, really proud of this. <laughs> this is uh, something I painted as part of an art swap uh, that I did with my friend Nazreen. We swapped a couple little teeny tiny pieces. You can see this is an artist trading card. It's a tiny little painting. Um, and we did several that we did in, included in this swap. I'll have a link to that video down below if you want to take a look. It was a lot of fun. And I'm glad that I can finally post this video because I made it so long ago. <laughs> and I've just been waiting for her to receive everything in the mail and get the videos posted and everything so that I could actually share this with you. And I hope that you like it. I hope that you feel this was a successful painting because I'm really... I'm pleased with it. I'm I'm really happy with it. I don't normally paint realistic kitty cats unless I'm doing some kind of commissioned portrait. So this was fun. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> so what I want you to do is tell me about what your pet's names are in the comments down below and tell me why you chose those names and if you think those names actually suit your fur baby. Um, because sometimes you pick a name like Chode and you think it's a hilarious name and it just does not fit the animal at all. And sometimes you, the animal just names itself like Spartacus did. <laughs> I mean, she's definitely a Spartacus. So yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please, if you haven't yet, subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Thank you so much for watching. You're amazing. I'll see you next time. Bye.